Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Ecom Masterclass and in today's video, I'll be going over how you can set up Shopify birthday discounts. So these are gonna be discount codes that are gonna be sent to customers on their birthday, encouraging them to shop at your store with a specialized discount. Many brands do this across many different industries. You see it from restaurants to retail stores. It's a great way to convert customers and a lot of customers actually expect some type of discount on their birthday as it is their special day. So in this video, I'll go step by step how you can set that up using a Shopify app. Before we dive into it, I wanna thank our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify app store. It's gonna allow you to skip your spreadsheets and get back to growing your store. And all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for. For example, if I'm looking for the last 30 days, I can select that. In just a few seconds here, I'm gonna get real-time calculations on how profitable your store really is, along with a ton of different detailed metrics and analytics, giving you more in insight into how your store is performing. There's a link in the description to access a 15 day free trial. So make sure you check that out there. And I'm also gonna show a quick promo video. Are you a Shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting? Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. Now the app I'm gonna use in this video to set up a happy birthday discount is called Happy Birthday Email. So it allows you to collect birthdays and then send your customers an email with a unique discount code on their birthday. The app is great because it does have a free plan that allows you to store up to 50 birthdays. It gives you quite a few options on how you wanna collect these birthdays as well. We can see things such as the post purchase. You can have different email and sign up pages that are dedicated to this alone. So to install the app, you just have to hit add app here, then go through the install sequence. I've just done so and now I'm loading the app on the back end here. So I've just submitted my email here and then you can say take me to the app and then we can go through the settings step by step. Right off the bat here it's going to set up quite a few things such as the sign up form, the sign up page, as well as the sending of the discounts here on a customer's birthday. So first let's manage the sign up form. So if you want to keep this on a custom page you have the option to do so. It's going to give you a custom URL and the page is going to look pretty basic just like this. A few things off the bat I'm just going to show the first name and last name. I'm going to take that off here as I'm going to have less fields to fill out. And depending on your theme this button is going to look pretty basic. I'm going to add some basic styling here. So you want to follow along. The ID of the button is called this here hb underscore submit underscore birthday underscore detail. Now underneath that I filled out some basic CSS here giving the button color a little more styling. So if you just want to copy what I said here, I changed the color, the radius, the background margin, so the space between the top as well as the width. Once I hit save and I reload the page here, it's gonna look a little nicer than it was before because before the button was kind of just jammed up here. So I added this own CSS style to you whether you wanna add that as well. So that's the sign up form there. I'm gonna leave it as a separate link. Then what you could do as well is put it in the future in the footer here, or you can email the link. There are all the other integrations as well, but I'll just do this one for the point of the video as I don't want to make it too long. Next, let's take a look at the birthday email sending schedule. So what the actual email is going to look like when it's being sent out to customers. So you can get several options here. So just the email setup. So the from name, I'll leave that there. Reply to email. You can put your support email, your customer service email, anything like that. Happy birthday. I might throw an emoji in here as well. This little party icon. Here you can customize the text for the email title and the content of the email as well. You're also gonna get options here to customize the background colors and add the terms and conditions. You could add things such as how long the coupon code is gonna stay valid for. An email sending, you can either send it on their birthday or you can set a few days before. I might just say one day before here. So once that's done, you do want to enter this email, but you just hit save and it's going to update all your settings there. The last thing to look at will be the birthday discount. So here you're going to decide how much you're actually going to give out as a discount. Maybe it's 10, 15, 50%. It's up to you based on your store's margins. But to do so, you're going to go to the bottom and hit manage. You're going to get options here. I would leave this as automatically generate unique codes. It's going to make the code feel a little more special and unique. You can set it by percentage or fixed amounts. Could say 25% here. So it's going to be the prefix. So the coupon code will be attached after. I would leave that as birthday there. You can also set the minimum spend and set how long this coupon code is valid for. Additionally, if you want to restrict it to different products or different collections, you can do so as well. And then once you've done that, you can save the discount code settings. So overall, that's the basic setup here. There are other tabs such as the stats. So you can see customers' birthdays, how many signed up, how many emails were sent out. You can also see which customers have entered their birthdays in. And you can also set up your integrations just by using Klaviyo or MailChimp. 
You can automatically capture new signups and further actions in Klaviyo. You can also send this information to Klaviyo as well if you want to send more contextual emails too in these platforms. So overall, this is going to conclude the video on Shopify birthday discounts. I went over step by step how you can set up a simple Shopify app that lets you capture customers' birthdays, send the emails out, and then creates a unique discount code. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Lastly, I want to mention our sponsor, ProfitCalc, one more time. It's going to allow you to skip your spreadsheets and get back to growing your store with real-time calculations. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to understand how profitable your Shopify store truly is. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.